Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a mathematician, and today we're going to talk about how to find hundredths on a number line, which is actually very difficult to do because you're going to have to draw a hundred little lines. So normally on a number line, um, you've got your negatives on your left, your zero balancing you out in the middle, and your positives on your right. So if I've got the number one and you want to measure a certain number of hundredths, so let's say we want to do one and three hundredths, what you would literally have to do is draw 100 little notches and then go to the third one. So it's going to be very difficult and tedious, so I'm not going to draw 100 lines here, but that's the way that you would represent it, which is why it is not represented on a number line like that. They normally just skip um, into fours. So depending on what fraction you have, let's say you have um, 25 over 100, well then you can reduce it and then it's easy to represent because 25 over 100 is the same thing as 1 fourth. So now, if between 1 and 2, I draw 1, 2, 3, and I make this my 2, then 1 fourth would be found right here. So reduce it if you can, um, and then that'll make it easier to plot. But if it's a number like 3 over 100, you would literally have to draw 100 notches and then get there. Um, just to know where the hundredths place is, if I have a decimal like 5.32, this is my tenths place, the first place after the decimal, and then the two is the number that is in your hundredths place. My name is Maria, and I just showed you how to find the hundredths place on a number line.